my dear children today we are going to do the final episode on determiners in the first episode you were told about the determiners and their types vidyarthiyon aaj assi determiners bare akhri part padhan ja rahe ha pehle episode de vich tuhanu determiners ate ena diyan kisma de bare vich dassya gaya si they are types of determiners possessives my or your his her its etc demonstratives this that these those quantitatives much little some any etc numerals 1 2 1 2 2 articles a and the in the second episode you were told about the placement of determiners and adjectives before a noun doje episode de vich tuhanu eh dassya gaya si ki determiners ate adjectives hamesha noun to pehla aunde han we did lots of exercises to be thorough with their placements that is the order in which they are supposed to be put in a sentence you were also told that determiners are like adjectives but are not adjectives they are noun markers they do not qualify a noun but they only limit the noun that follows them in this episode we shall practice the determiners asi ena nu sahi tarike na laun layi bahut sara abhyas kita ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਕ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਾਇਆ ਜਾਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨਸ ਐਡਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਦੇ ਵਾਂਗ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਐਡਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਨਾਊਨ ਮਾਰਕਰਸ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਨਾਊਨ ਵਜੋਂ ਕੁਆਲੀਫਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਇਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਨਾਊਨ ਨੂੰ ਲਿਮਿਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫੋਲੋ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨਸ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ we shall begin with the articles a and and the before we start with the exercises on articles let me remind you a few things we use a with nouns that begin with a consonant sound we use an with nouns that begin with a vowel sound Another thing that you must remember is that there are 26 alphabets in English. Articles. Articles shuru karan to pehla main tuhanu ek cheez yaad kara deya. Assi nouns de naal a di varto karde ha jo ki consonant sounds naal shuru hunde han. Assi nouns de naal an di varto karde ha. जो कि वाउल साउंड नाल शुरू हुंदे हन एक होर गल तुसी याद रखनी है ओ ए है कि अंग्रेजी दे कुल 26 अक्षर हन ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच आई जे के एल एम एन ओ पी क्यू आर एस टी यू वी डब्ल्यू एक्स एंड वाई जेड A E I O U are vowels. All others are consonants. So we have 5 vowels and 21 consonants. I have just reminded you 
so that there is no problem while recognizing their initial sounds. A E I O U vowels han, jado ki baaki sare consonants han. Is karke sade kol panch vowels han ate ikki consonants han. Now let's check why we have done the way we have done. Look at sentence number one. I eat an apple every day. Why have we put and before apple? We have used and before apple because it has a vowel sound. Sentence number two. My family has a dog. Here we have used a before dog because the initial sound of the word is of a consonant. ਇੱਥੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਡੌਗ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਏ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਡੌਗ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਦੀ ਆਰੰਭਕ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਨੰਬਰ 3 ਆਈ ਰੋਟ ਅ ਲੈਟਰ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਫਾਦਰ ਲੈਟਰ ਹੈਜ਼ ਅ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਏ ਹੀਅਰ ਲੈਟਰ ਦੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਏ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਮਾਈ ਫਾਦਰ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਐਮਪੀ ਨਾਉ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਟਿਕਲਿਸ਼ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਐਨ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਐਮਪੀ ਐਮ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਬਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਦਿਸ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਇਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸਸ ਈ ਐਮ ਐਮ ਇਟ ਹੈਜ਼ ਅ ਵਾਵਲ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਸੋ ਐਨ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਹੁਣ ਇਹ ਟਿਕਲਿਸ਼ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਐਮਪੀ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਐਨ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਹੁਣ ਜ਼ਰਾ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਤੇ ਧਿਆਨ ਦਿਓ ਐ ਈ ਐਮ ਐਮ ਦੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦੀ ਕੀ ਵਾਵਲ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਐਨ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਇਜ਼ ਯਰ ਫਾਦਰ ਅ ਡੀਸੀ ਯਰ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਏ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ absolutely correct d is a consonant and the sound initially is of a consonant so we have used a before dc ethe asi a di varto kiti hai eh bilkul sahi hai d consonant hai ate arambik sound vi consonant di hai es karke asi dc to pehla a di varto kiti hai this is a uniform look at the sound the word uniform gives y double o u this is a consonant sound so a uniform what we are trying to distinguish is that despite the fact that u in uniform is a vowel it has a before it because the sound is of a consonant u a consonant sound hai ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਅ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਐ ਡਿਸਟਿੰਗਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਵੀ ਕਿ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਵਲ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਏ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਏ ਦੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਯੂ ਹੈ ਮਾਈ ਮਦਰ ਗੇਵ ਮੀ ਐਨ ਔਰੇਂਜ ਔਰੇਂਜ ਗਿਵਸ ਅ ਵਾਵਲ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਟੂ so what do we use before a vowel sound an orange which o ik vowel hai ate naal hi eh vowel di awaaz denda hai es karke sanu ethe vowel sound to pehla kis di vartoh karni chahidi hai an di i have to go to a university when i grow up university has y double o u sound thus we use a before a consonant sound though we all know that u is a vowel we have to mark the initial sound the word gives university vi y double o u sound hai sanu shabda valo ditti jaan wali arambak awaaz nu mark karna chahida hai Let's compare. 
an orange vowel sound an ostrich vowel sound an overcoat vowel sound a university y double o u consonant sound a union y double o u consonant sound so we use and before a vowel sound and a before a consonant sound irrespective of the fact that the initial alphabet is a vowel or a consonant we only go by sound so what is important is the initial sound of the word as gal wal pyan na dende hoye ki pehla akhar vowel hai cha consonant sanu us di awaaz te pyan dena chahida hai ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵਾਲ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਐਨ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਏ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਫਿਲ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਬਲੈਂਕਸ ਵਿਦ ਏ ਔਰ ਐਨ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਹੈ ਆਰੰਭਿਕ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਦੇ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਖਾਲੀ ਥਾਵਾਂ ਤੇ ਏ ਜਾਂ ਐਨ ਭਰੋ I eat dash apple every day. I eat an apple every day. My family has dash dog. My family has a dog. I wrote dash letter to my father. I wrote a letter to my father. My father is dash MP. My father is an MP. Is your father dash DC? Is your father a DC? This is dash uniform. This is a uniform. My mother gave me dash orange. My mother gave me an orange. I shall go to dash university when I grow up. I shall go to a university when I grow up. If everything else fails, you can make out from the sound of ura era and ed if a word starts with any of these initial sounds put an all other words will take a je har gal na kaam ho jaye ta tusi ena awaaza nu dhyan vich rakho ura era ate ed je koi bhi shabd ena di aarambhak awaaz na shuru hunda hai ta an di vartoh karo baaki sare shabda de agge a lagega with ura era ed and others a you can check this formula by writing as many nouns as you like and put a or an accordingly now another thing which needs your attention is that we put a or an before a noun word which is singular and countable tusi es formula nu bahut sare nouns likh ke check kar sakde ho ate es mutabik ohna agge a ja an lao es to ilawa jo ik hor gal dhyan vich rakhan wali hai oh e hai ki a ja an di varto ose noun word to pehla hovegi jehda ik vachan ate ginan yog hove see i have an ice cream this is a boy a table has four legs an orange is good for health all these nouns are singular and countable all singular countable nouns carry a or an definitely
ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਨਾਮਸ ਇੱਕ ਵਚਨ ਅਤੇ ਗਿਣਨ ਯੋਗ ਹਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਚਨ ਅਤੇ ਗਿਣਨ ਯੋਗ ਨਾਮਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਏ ਜਾਂ ਐਨ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਵੇਗਾ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨੇਵਰ ਡਨ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗਰਲ ਸੈਮ ਵਾਸ ਟੀਚਰ ਹਾਰਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਹੀਅਰ ਆਈ ਈਟ ਐਪਲ ਗਰਲ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਊਂਟੇਬਲ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਸੇ ਏ ਵਿਦ ਇਟ ਸਿਮਿਲਰਲੀ ਟੀਚਰ ਹਾਰਸ ਐਪਲ ਆਲ ਆਰ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਊਂਟੇਬਲ she is a girl sam was a teacher a horse is standing here i eat an apple or an orange so a singular countable noun must have a or an before it es karke ek vachan ate ginti yog noun to pehla a ja an zarur aavega anything that is one is called singular more than one is plural remember your class 6 lesson one and many one many flower two flowers book three books dog five dogs so anything that is one is singular and more than one that is two three four etc is plural also remember that whatever is singular one will also have a plural suppose we say one boy automatically we can say that there are 2 3 10 100 boys when we say one or two or 10 or 100 that means countable anything that we can count is countable that which we cannot count is uncountable as lay ik hove ta ik vachan ate je es to vad do tin char aadi hon ta e bahu vachan hai e vi yaad rakho ki har ik vachan da bahu vachan hunda hai man lo ki assi kehnde ha ki ik munda aise tarah munde do tin char ate vad vi ho sakde han ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ 1 2 ਜਾਂ 10 ਅਤੇ ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ 100 ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਗਿਣਨ ਯੋਗ ਹਨ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਜਿਸ ਦੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਉਹ ਕਾਊਂਟੇਬਲ ਅਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਦੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਉਹ ਅਨਕਾਊਂਟੇਬਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੀ ਕਾਲ देम ਕਾਊਂਟ ਨਾਮਸ ਔਰ ਅਨਕਾਊਂਟ ਔਰ ਨਾਨ ਕਾਊਂਟੇਬਲ ਨਾਮਸ take a look at these upcoming pictures boy girl apple wall cycle can we count them yes we can say one boy two boys 100 girls five apples 10 balls or 10 cycles water butter wood cheese air rice now can we count water butter wood cheese air or rice no we cannot so these are non count or uncountable nouns now let's reinforce into our minds that all singular countable nouns must have an a or an before them hun ki assi pani lakkad cheese hawa ya chawlan di ginti kar sakde ha nahi assi nahi kar sakde es karke eh ginti na karan wale ja uncountable han hun ek gal dimag vich rakho ki sare ik vachan ginti yog nouns de agge zarur hi a ja an lagda hai till now we have learnt in this module about how and where to put a or an now let's see where we put the let's remember that we use the when we are talking about something specific or when we are sure that we all know what we are talking about 
ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਿਸ਼ਚਿਤ ਚੀਜ਼ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਪੱਕਾ ਯਕੀਨ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਨੰਬਰ 1 ਆਈ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਸਕੂਲ ਬਾਈ ਅ ਬਸ ਦ ਬਸ ਰੀਚਸ ਮਾਈ ਸਟਾਪ ਐਟ 7:30 ਏਐਮ ਨੰਬਰ 2 I ate a samosa yesterday. The samosa I had was very tasty. When we refer to something for the first time, we use the indefinite article a or an. But when there is a second time reference, we use the definite article the. When we talk generally, it is a or an. But when we are being specific we use the jadon asi pehli baar kuch karde ha ta ase indefinite article a ja am di varto karde ha par jadon eh duji baar hunda hai ta asi definite article the di varto karde ha jadon asi subhavik taur te gal karde ha ta eh a ja an hunda hai par jadon sanu pakka pata hunda hai ta eh the hunda hai in the first sentence i go to school by a bus the bus reaches my stop at 7:30 am we say a bus in general but when we refer to it again it is the we are being specific all the buses do not reach my stop at 7:30 am I am talking of the bus which comes at 7:30 a.m. Asi aam taur te kehnde ha bus par jadon asi es nu dobara refer karde ha ta kehnde ha the bus. Sanu pakka pata hai sariya buses saade 7 baje te stand te nahi pahunchdiyan. Main us bus di gal kar rahi ha jo ki saade 7 baje aayegi. Take a look at some more examples. Number 1 newspaper the tribune the indian express number 2 mail trains the flying mail the frontier mail number 3 nationalities the chinese the indians number 4 holy books the quran the bible number 5 directions the east the west number 6 islands the andaman and nicobar islands number 7 bays the bay of bengal number 8 countries the usa the uae the netherlands number 9 unique heavenly bodies the sun the moon the stars the earth etc so here is an exercise based on the items taught fill in the blanks with a an or the this is dash chair this is a chair dash boy is standing in the class a boy is standing in the class I have never traveled by dash flying mail. I have never traveled by the flying mail. Salil showed me a copy of dash Quran. Salil showed me a copy of the Quran. I bought dash apple from the market. I bought an apple from the market 
I read Dash Tribune in the morning. I read the Tribune in the morning. Dash Nepalese are very hard working. The Nepalese are very hard working. Switch on Dash Light, please. Switch on the light, please. I know he is dash honest man. I know he is an honest man. The train is laid by dash R. The train is laid by an R. He is dash one eyed giant. He is a one eyed giant. I hope it was easy to understand. Now we take up possessives. My, your, his, her, their, its, our. This is easy enough. Just complete this story. My name is Danny. I have a sister. Dash pet name is Dina. We have good neighbors. Their children are dash friends. Let's now fill the possessives in the blanks. My name is Dami. I have a sister. Her pet name is Dina. We have good neighbors. Their children are my friends. They have a servant, dash name is Nandu. Do you like dash neighbors? Let's now fill the possessives in the blanks. They have a servant. His name is Nandu. Do you like your neighbors? Let's now take up an exercise in which I'll show you some pictures and taking cue from them, fill in the blanks. Asi tuhanu kuch tasveera vikhaavange, ate khali thama paran same, ona to cue lavange. Dash, flower is beautiful. This flower is beautiful. Dash, flower is beautiful. That flower is beautiful. Dash flowers are beautiful. These flowers are beautiful. Dash flowers are beautiful. Those flowers are beautiful. Children, so what have you understood? For anything which is near and singular, we say this. Anything which is far and singular, we say that. Things which are near and many, we say these. Things which are far and many, we say those. I'm sure today's lesson was very interesting as well as informative. Hope you have understood well and can use them when required. So, it's bye for now. Thank you.